My name is Elizabeth Pampalone, and you're listening to Marketing Minimalism. Today's tip is about showing up with confidence. And we've all heard that showing up is how you go up. And it's a process. It's not something that's going to happen overnight, but it is a habit that you need to form. And a lot of us are thinking, okay, I am not confident in certain areas, but in other areas, I'm really confident. And that's where this key comes in to actually becoming more confident in in all areas of your life. What I want you to do is I want you to write down three different things. Maybe write it down on a piece of paper or just think about it in your mind. Write down three people you're confident with, people that you're neutral with, and maybe a group of people that you're not confident with. And write those down. So I put in that when I am with my peers and, you know, in business, I am very confident. (laughs) So put that down. And so think about groups of people. So you have a confident group, a neutral group, and a not confident group. Then I want you to think of the places where you're confident. Write down a place or two where you're confident, maybe a place or two where you're neutral, and a place that you're not confident. Where When you go somewhere and you're in a certain situation with groups of people, maybe the group of people matches the place. Maybe that's uh, similar. And then think about some activities. Activities that you're confident in doing and being a part of, participating in. Activities that you're maybe neutral when you participate. And some where you're just not confident at all in participating. Now, now that you've got this kind of grid going on or these little columns that you've written down, think about balance here. We don't want to to basically put ourselves in horrible situations where we're constantly with people we're not confident with. We're constantly going places where we're not confident and we're constantly doing activities where we're not confident. This is going to put us at a disadvantage and make us feel like we're not good at anything. So what we want to do is every week when you're planning your week, when you're planning your day even, think about being with each group in that time period. So people that you're confident with, make sure you've got some of those times in there where you're spending time with those people. Maybe spending time in places where you're confident or activities, doing activities that you're confident about. And then throw in a few non-confident places and people groups. But don't make your whole week, your whole day just about that. Make sure that you are giving it a little bit of a mix up and make sure that you've got some of that confident, those confident groups in there so that you're not constantly feeling inadequate. (laughs) Because this is going to help build those confidence muscles. You're going to have a little bit of of uncomfortableness, then you're going to come back and be confident again. Then you're going to have a little uncomfortable, be confident again. So You can also do a couple of other things. Um, You can give yourself a pep talk before walking into maybe an event or a place where you're not as confident. And uh, this is my favorite. (laughs) My favorite tip is to blast your favorite music in the car on your way there. And this can actually um, minimize the toxicity and maximize the nourishment of what you're going to get out of those places and those people groups. So if your self-doubt says you're not good enough, that's just fear being disguised as doubt and you are good enough. And you are actually going to be more confident the more that you practice these things. Just make sure you fill in a little bit of nourishment with some confident people groups in there, and you don't just go out and feel unconfident all the time. Fear is a tool, and we can use it to overcome. Taming our fears is how we learn to deal with everything. And it's what drives everything in our lives, beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and then behavior. Talk to you next time. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to learn more, please visit marketingminimalism.com.